been a long time since a new BlackBerry OS has seen the light of day. But here it is, BlackBerry 10. And it's pretty good too. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt with CNET, and I'm going to show you what's good, what's bad, and how to get around. The first thing to know is that RIM's new operating system is completely gesture-based. You swipe left, right, up, and down to access most menus and submenus to check your email and also to close apps. I'm not going to lie to you. Finding your way around can take a little bit of getting used to, especially the gesture to close an app, which is basically just pulling up from the bottom of the screen to minimize it. You can store up to eight open apps this way. You'll also find that you're using a gesture to wake the screen from its slumber, and that's just by dragging up. So let me take you through the screens themselves. RIM lines up your essentials in a row with your apps laid out and the icons to the right. But if you swipe over toward the left, you'll see your active windows if you have any open, and those are the thumbnails of your running apps. If you keep swiping left again, you'll find BlackBerry Hub, which shows you your email messages, missed calls, and social networking notifications. Pretty much everything you see is customizable. You can make folders and rearrange the app order. You can change what you see in Hub. You can also peek at the Hub from any time, from any screen, pretty much with just one little gesture. It is possible to get lost in all of this gesturing around at first, but like most mobile platforms, it doesn't take too long to figure out the flow. RIM spent a lot of time on the virtual keyboard, and it shows. BlackBerry 10 has some strong word prediction that's built into most apps, and you can customize where you want those words to appear, either at the top or scattered throughout the keyboard. You can also select up to three languages for the keyboard to remember at one time. Plus, RIM put a lot of thought into how people copy and paste text, how they add extra characters, and how they delete a few words at a time. Despite RIM's effort, certain things, like highlighting a paragraph, for example, are either overcomplicated or not quite as intuitive as I'd like. Now, BlackBerry Messenger is another RIM claim to fame, and in this update, it's the best it's ever been. You can use NFC to get new contacts in real time, like if they're standing right in front of you. And in addition to free messaging one-on-one -on -one or with a group, you can now do voice and video calls as well. I only did one test call so far, and it worked great. Stop me if you've seen this one before. A digital voice assistant that talks back to you. Yeah, I think that BlackBerry 10's Siri-like voice control app is basically RIM getting back at Apple for using BlackBerry Messenger as its iMessage inspiration. The app does helpfully give you a list of things that you can do, but it isn't as flexible as Siri in what you can say, and it sounds a lot more robotic. Searching the internet for peanut butter brownie recipes. Overall, RIM did a great job making BlackBerry 10 look polished and professional while still keeping the look familiar for longtime fans. I like that the gestures really support one-handed operation, though that really depends on the size of the screen and the shape of the phone as well. I also like the simplicity of some of the corporate security apps, as well as bedtime mode, which turns off every babe and buzz except for your morning alarm. And I also just love universal search, which I've always loved, and I like BlackBerry's built-in photo editing tool. However, a few things don't work as well as I'd like. The Weaker Maps app doesn't use Google Maps, and it doesn't have walking or transit directions. The camera's time shift mode is really cool, but it's a bummer that it isn't built into the main camera option. I also feel like RIM could have added HDR and panorama modes by now. BlackBerry 10 OS is the result of years spent overhauling an outdated operating system and making it new and modern again, without losing its former identity. And that, I think, room was completely successful. And I think that BlackBerry fans are, for the most part, really going to like what they see. However, the OS does have a bit of a learning curve, and some of the weaker apps, like Mapping, are going to keep some people on their current OSs. I'm Jessica Dalcourt, and that's your overview of BlackBerry 10. There's a lot more to uncover, so keep your eye out for more BlackBerry 10 videos right here on CNET TV, and read the full BlackBerry 10 OS review on CNET.com.